this isn't where horses belong. And I think anybody that really understands horses' natural needs and their and their behaviors, to, to, to put them in the middle of Michigan Avenue at rush hour traffic is the last thing. And they'll tell you that they take the horses back to a pasture every night. There's this big line of bullshit that they'll feed you that, oh, we take these horses back to a pasture and um, they're, they roam free and play all night. No, you don't. We've gone there and we've watched them. They get loaded into this warehouse. The typical day of, of, a, of, of a horse pulling a carriage is, depending on who you ask, if you ask me, you'll get the truth. If you ask a carriage driver, you'll get this uh, shiny, happy story. But, you know, they're supposed to only work a set number of hours a day and they end up working double that. They end up working about 12 hours a day, sometimes more. Um, they're supposed to get breaks. They're supposed to get a 15 minute break, you know, every four hours. That they don't get. We've come out at like 10 o'clock in the morning and seen a horse pulling and then we'll come back at like 10 o'clock at night or even midnight and we'll see the same horse out there, you know, so which is telling us that they've been working 14 hours. And um, as you can imagine, there's no real way to give a horse a break down here. It's not like there's a cot set up and they can go take a little nap or something. I mean, they're down here at Water Tower um, on the Mag Mile here and they're down here for sometimes 12 or 14 hours straight. about one of the companies um, getting shut down because they had so many citations for abuse and neglect of their horses. They weren't, um, they weren't being housed in a permanent structure. It was just kind of this ramshackle, uh, hodgepodge put together uh, structure with a big tarp over it. It really wasn't protecting them from the, the Chicago winter and a lot of them were underweight and I saw this on the news and I thought this is, this is unbelievable that they, they're charging people, you know, $80 for a carriage ride for for an hour carriage ride, yet they're not able to take care of or, or feed or house these horses properly. So I started doing a little bit of research into it and I started um, poking around online and, and finding out the truth and I saw how many horses were um, killed, you know, hit by cars, hit by buses, died of heat stroke, heat exhaustion, all this stuff. And kind of the more I looked into it, the more it was the exact opposite of I think what everybody looks at the horse carriage ride as charming and endearing. It was really kind of just blatant animal abuse and if dogs and cats um, get people in an outrage when they're mistreated or, or abused, certainly I think we should give the same respect and reverence to horses. So. And pulling, you know, a carriage with four overweight tourists and then a gigantic carriage, you know, that weighs over a thousand pounds and then the driver, you know, this animal's pulling, you know, well over a thousand pounds um, just when it's pulling the carriage and then you put four, four passengers in it. It's, it's crazy. You can imagine doing that for 12 or 14 hours a day. Um, and the carriage drivers will always say the same thing. Well, these animals, are they're, they're built for work. They're made for work. Well, that's a really convenient thing to say when you're a person because the, the horse can't answer for itself. But oftentimes, people in these industries um, will try to speak for the animal and say, well, these animals are meant to work. They enjoy work. Well, that's really easy for you to say. But if the horse could speak, I sincerely doubt a horse would say, if this horse right here could speak, I really doubt it would say, I love doing this. this is, there's no better way I could spend my days. And they'll tell you that they take the horses back to a pasture every night. There's this big line of bullshit that they'll feed you that, oh, we take these horses back to a pasture and um, they're, they roam free and play all night. No, you don't. We've gone there and we've watched them. They get loaded into this warehouse over on Kingsbury, over by the Whole Foods. It's literally a warehouse with all the windows painted black so like no sunlight gets in. There's no ventilation, so when they open the garage door, it just smells like horse shit, because it's full of horse shit. Um, and, you know, it's a dark, gross, dirty warehouse. And for them to feed that line of bullshit that they take these horses back to some non-existent pasture at night and they roam free and frolic, even if that was true, do you think a horse would want to roam free and frolic and run around after pulling a carriage 12 hours? It just doesn't make any sense, you know, but it's, I think any time in life you have somebody that has to lie to justify what they're doing, you know, to people, if they have to feed that bullshit to you that, oh, these horses love to work, these horses go home at night to a field and run free, Anytime you're lying to convince people that what you're doing is right, there's something wrong with that. And then at the end of its miserable life, serving man, you know what its reward is, you know what its final paycheck is? It gets sold to slaughter and it gets turned into dog food. So this horse, its entire life works for man and then its, its reward at the end of its miserable life is it becomes glue or dog food, you know? I mean, if that's not a, a raw deal, I don't know what is, you know? They will tell you magical 
you know, wonderful, charming stories about how they, you know, they get retired and they go to a private owner and live out the rest of their days. But the truth is, is they, the last dollar that they can really make, these carriage companies off these animals, is selling them slaughter. You know, their entire life they're look, looked at as a money maker. You know, $80 an hour to get these carriage rides. So really the last profit that these carriage companies can see off this animal is selling it to slaughter. Yeah, it's really sad. We went and talked to Debbie Hay, who's the owner of uh, one of the carriage companies operating here in Chicago. And so we went in there and talked to her and we, we asked just that. We asked the same question you just asked me. You know, what happens to these horses when, when they're too old or too sick to pull? And she quite, quite honestly told us, she said, well, it depends how hard they worked for me. And we said, well, can you expand on that? And she said, well, you know, it depends on if they were good. If they, if they served me good and they, they you know, were good and, and I got a good life out of them, you know, I'll, I'll see about um, placing them with somebody or finding, finding an owner for them. But, you know, if not, if they, you know, gave me shit, you know, basically. So she basically looked at us and told us she had no problem with selling a horse to slaughter. And, you know, I think that, I think that sucks.